hi guys welcome back to my channel yeah. we are on day five and guys you know that feeling you know that feeling when that feeling of success right you know how success feels mm? that is how i feel now i feel like i can fly i believe i can fly i can actually fly <laughs> On day eight, let me say this on day eight, all of you who have been so 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 supportive, watching and leaving comments. We are going to pop something. I don't want to mention anything. We are going to pop something, we are going to raise our glasses, and it's gonna be wow. So, guys, without wasting much of your time, I'm just Fina Young, a content creator based in Douala, Cameroon. Guys, it's weekend, so permit me just do this stand-up video because i don't want to sit down i have a very crazy day for now let's focus on day five day five <laughs> oh my god though i'm a Cameroonian youtuber based in Douala, cameroon i make educative and entertaining videos on parenting relationship marriage counseling lifestyle vlogs and more mm -hmm. are you seeing this my pretty face for your first time please hit the subscribe button is here hit the subscribe button like the video and let's go and see what i have for you guys today i said all these days i've been hyping women women are this women are that women women and today i just want to tell you the other side of women some very ugly things that men hate about women so grab something grab a glass of water grab a cup of tea grab anything that will make you feel comfy comfortable and let's watch this video guys <laughs> oh my god oh. 8 day challenge eh? mm -hmm. I understand why some people actually say that it's difficult for you to upload daily like I'm so happy I'm doing this guys it just shows that I can achieve whatever I want to whatever I desire in this life, whatever I stand out to do, I can do it, I can achieve it because this is day five. <laughs> we are on day five. Today has been a mad day for me. Like I had to take the kid to I had to take Jordan to the hospital for his um, immunization. He had a vaccine today. We are just coming back from the hospital. And um guys, there is something very, very beautiful coming. Um the Cameroonian YouTubers meet up. I'll show you guys. So I I knew very well like I've been doing these videos. I, I, I do the videos the same day, I edit them the same day and I upload. So you see how crazy it is, right? It's not easy guys. It's not easy at all. Like some days I feel like just we need to take a break. You need to take a break. You need to take a break. If you get any sound from my background, bear with me. We are in the kitchen. <laughs> I told you guys that we are filming all videos this week in the kitchen. So you can get some pots cracking there. There are yummy things going on. So guys, yes, without wasting much of your time. For why why am I even starting this video a bit late than I expected? I I, I searched my closet. I didn't see a white top. Yes, the dress code for the Cameroonian YouTubers meetup is white and blue jeans so i actually thought i had a white to share the white something in the house but then i searched i saw everything like everything i saw was not what i actually wanted to wear so i had to go to the market guys i'm just coming back from ndokoti i went to ndokoti it was crazy like i could not even find anything really good so someone advised me to go to machi central i said no i will still search i have searched and searched it took me a bit longer than i expected but guys i found it so I just wanted to update you guys how my day is been before we get into the video. Mm -hmm. I, I, I've been hyping women, I've been praising women, I've been telling you guys how you're beautiful, how you, you are sweet, how the world cannot go without you, how, 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 and I've been telling men what we want from them. And it's like, I cannot go on and on praising, hyping women without striking a balance. Women. I'm still on your team, oh, you push not this own me after today, but I have to tell some bitter truths and I'm not going to make it more. Let me just let me just finish three of those ugly things that women do. So that you can begin to see that okay, you you can you can change this and it, it's not a good way to go about it and things like that and things like that. The very first thing that men hate, men 
hate about women is that they always bring up the past. <laughs> women always bring up the past like if you have a small argument with your husband, you will go and search for the date in 19 days, on the feet of this, in this, this, this. This is the same thing that you did. Why not just handle this one that came up now? I thought you had forgiven me for that one that passed. Women, I hope we are all guilty about this. And um, I am working on that and I know I'm going to change. I'm guilty that I'm working on it. See, women, let's change. This is 2020. It's just, we are in March and we can work on that part of us. Let's stop dragging, digging history each time we have an issue. It's not good. Mm, the Bible says we should forgive and forget now. I beg you, let's, let's, let's sit up. Let's sit up. Yes, guys, let's sit up. We are sitting up on that one. Please, let's sit up. Men feel so frustrated each time they have small issues with us. We go dragging. We go talking about this thing that had passed years ago. We go dragging this thing. We go digging these things. It craves them. It just makes them go crazy. Mm? So please guys, that is one very ugly thing men hate about women. It is very common, like 90% of women do this and it is not good at all. It's not, it's not good. Let's, let's, let's forgive, forget and just forget and wipe that part it's of the middle. Spark up in the house. We have an issue with your partner. Try to track that one that is there, that present issue. Stop going to say, uh, I remember, I remember. You always remember, like you always remember. Don't do that. Do you always remember the good things the way you remember the bad ones? Do you? Do you? We are changing. Tell me I'm not in this, I'm not in this table again. I have left, I'm breaking, I have broken this table today. I'm out of it. I'm not there. <laughs> So guys, that's one thing men really hate about women. Like, we should stop dragging the past to the future. It's not good. It's not healthy. It's not helping us build healthy relationships. So guys, let's stop it in 2022, guys. The very second thing men hate, men can go crazy about women, is the fact that when you have an issue with your wife, they bring the issue to bed. Was the bed with you people when you were fighting? How can you carry something that happened? Eh? and bring it to bed now your husband wants to touch you start shaking i'm sick i'm not fine mean that you are just angry so do you now blame this man if something go wrong somewhere let's try to sit up men always say this one like i've heard so many men talk about this like oh, i don't want to do this so because i i, I know the, the, the repercussions i know i don't want to have a bad sleep today because i know that if i do this 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 is what is going to happen tonight please so don't look for trouble don't put me in public it's because we we have made we, we have kept them the tight for that <laughs> men feel frustrated about guys we just need we just need to stop this attitude it's not healthy it's not helping us it's not working for us like when i was growing up i used to hear oh, my father is an administrator that man was born an administrator I imagine if he had really gone to school, the kind of, oh my God, you see leadership skills, you see leadership qualities in him. In the morning, our house is like this. You're struggling to prepare for school. Early in the morning, you say, people come and knock. Whoa, is Papa not up? Papa, we need to do. Just coming to complain about this. Just coming to say, this is what happened. They have this. And you see people come to their houses with their wives, with their husbands, and they come and sit. And Papa will now try to diagnose the case. So you, you are wrong. This is what, and most of the cases, really those as small as we were, we used to hide in the room and listen to some of those those cases. You hear a man say, for two months, she doesn't let me touch her. And you want to find out, it's because of one issue that came up. Why do you bring your issues, your marital issues, why do you take them to your bed? It's frustrating for these men, guys. Let's stop this, and the women feel really bad. Guys, just forget about JC. I told you guys that, eh? There is nothing that can stop me from doing these videos and even JC is already used to it. JC feels that I'm giving too much attention to you guys and I'm giving to him. So guys, you could share me with JC. JC is nice like that. Mm? Yeah? You can share me with these videos now. <laughs> so guys, that is one thing I'm telling women. That we should try to close that chapter. Close it, close it. You can, okay, let peace be on the bed and then after the bed, we go back to our fight. Is it possible? Can we do that? Let me know in the comment section. Is that really possible to do? Is it something we can try to practice? <laughs> it's easier said than done, right? But it is really frustrating for the men. It's frustrating. It's so frustrating for the men, guys. That is one other ugly, ugly truth about women. And then men cannot really handle it. Men cannot handle it. The third and the last point. There is, I have a long list of things. Like I've been speaking to Jay, please, excuse me. 
I've been speaking to a, a, a number of men. I've been I've had the opportunity to, to have some chat to discuss with men. Yes. So for the last part, the last thing I want to say, I have a lot to say about women. Ugly things that women do that frustrate men. That really make men go crazy. But guys, let's pinch out three for the purpose of this challenge. And then I will launch the others some, some weeks ahead. Because I don't want to, I'm exhausting you guys just the way I'm exhausting myself. I don't want people to spend too much watching long, long, long videos. The very last point I will raise here is the fact that women complain a lot. Women just complain a lot. You do this, no, you would have done it like this. You you do this, so for, oh, it's terrible. It's, it's terrible, it's frustrating. It's like we are not appreciative. Even for the most people who are really appreciative, you find yourself complaining over very small things that you can really handle. So why do you why do you make it seem like you don't you are not thankful for these things? You complain about this. Oh, this thing would have been like this. Oh, it's like this. It ought to have been like this. Oh, it is, guys. The men feel so bad about this attitude of us, and um, we have to change. We have to change. We are celebrating women this week, and I'm pointing out aspects of women that are really, really toxic, that are really, really not healthy in our relationships. So guys, stop complaining. Stop complaining too so much. Hmm? It's because of this too much complaining that the men don't even find it. They don't, they, don't, they don't feel happy closing from work and coming back to the house. They would rather hang out with friends and come home when they want to sleep. Because immediately they enter, you will start hearing, um, there is this, I needed this, this, this for this thing. Or the money you gave me for this one, 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 was got finished. This is what I bought and this, this and that and that. You cannot engage in any communication that will be like, oh, how was your day? Oh, this is this. So at least make them fresh, just to make them feel good. We always have one or the other thing to say. I'm, I've come for you guys today. I told you yesterday that day. I'm going to come for you. I've hired you people in love and I had to say this. I will say it the way it is. Remember on the first, was it the first or the, 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 the video I did to welcome my viewers, to welcome my community, my family, my Fixit crew to 2022? I said that in 2022, Fixit with Josie will be real. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything to make you feel good about it. I'll tell you the truth. And if you like the truth, you will take it. And if you don't like it, you unsubscribe. But you know you, can, you cannot unsubscribe because this pretty mama is blessing you with beautiful smiles. You cannot even dare unsubscribe. <laughs> You cannot even unsubscribe from this channel. You gather your family members and all your children and your village people and tell them about fixing the juicy. And you all will subscribe to this channel. Yes, you have to because there is a lot of juicy vibes that are coming out from this channel. Guys, thank you so, so, so much for watching. I just wanted to talk about these three things. Mm? Don't bring the past to present issues. Stop complaining and don't take issues to the bedroom. It is a no, no, nay for me. And I want it to be for you. Like, okay, let's let's handle the things that come in the bedroom and out of the bedroom we continue our fight. So guys, and for the most of it, our God is so intelligent. You cannot even finish everything in the bedroom and leave angry because you will solve everything. Thank you so much for watching. Please do me well to subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed yet. I'm so happy at how you guys are subscribing and viewing. I'm seeing the views are increasing. It means that you are really feeling the vibe. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Don't click out without liking the video. Most of you just watch and forget to like. It doesn't cost you anything. Just like here. Like. Like here. Subscribe here. Subscribe here. Subscribe here. <laughs> See you all in my next one. I remain your mama fix it. Ready to fix it at all times. Bye bye. Tomorrow is the seas. And something hot, hot, juicy will pop up tomorrow. Anticipate, expect. Mwah.